Okay, keep it like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, you ready? Can you see it okay? Good. Okay, so more than a feeling intro. Uh, we're going to start off the, uh, uh, we're going to do a D sustain, which is a D chord. Taking your pinky and putting it down over here on the third fret high E string. You see that? You see that? Okay. Just pick it. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, talk about what's going on here. We're gonna hit the D string. We're gonna pick out the strings from the, starting from the D, followed by the G. When I say D, I mean the D uh, string. I don't mean the note. That's the high E right there. And then after we're done hitting the high E string with this uh, pinky down, we're going to lift it up and hit the high E string again. And then hit the uh, B string. So it sounds like... Hear that? Just like that. Lift it up. So basically you're hitting all the notes in a row, except when you get down to the very bottom here, on the high E, you're going to hit that twice. Once with the uh, pinky down. See that? And then lift it. So. Okay, so that's that part. From there you transition to... Let's talk about what's going on there. So... When you hit that last note, that... When you hit that last note right there, you're gonna reach up. Uh, a string second fret and then on to the okay so what's going on there middle finger third fret a string index finger second fret D string and then open G string so it's And then you're going to do a shift. That shift is going to come uh, from here to there. Kind of do the middle finger, right? Like that. See that shift right there? And then you're going to take your index finger and you're going to place it on the second fret A string. So it's going to be like this. Watch. Like that. See that shift? See, you see where my index finger is now on the D string? It's going to go from the D string to here. And I'm going to lift this guy up at the same time. As I'm lifting this up, I'm, going, I'm putting this one down over here. So what I'm doing is to be followed by the G note on the third fret low E string. So that's uh, all together. So you play that, I think, three times, and then on the last time you go. What you do is you play uh, this uh, chord right here, which is basically. Uh, This is the last time around. You go. So here's what's going on there. You're going. What you're doing is uh, you got your um, middle finger on the third fret A string. 
index finger on the second fret D string, ring finger, that guy, on the B string third fret, and the high and the pinky on the high E string third fret. So everything else is an open string. So it's and you pick everything out. From the A string all the way down. And then you do that shift again. Then you go. Okay, so that's uh, that. That's what's going on with that. So, All right, now comes the part that segues into the chorus, and it, and it's just really simple. It goes. Let me uh, take a real quick listen to you. Uh, uh, make sure I got that right. How long will this uh, battery last? Is it one out of 20? It says 20% left. You're not talk. Yeah, it's about that. All right, did you hit the 20% thing? Okay, good. Is it still running? All right. All right, so basically, what's going on? All right, here's what's going on. So that after you do this last one, and that's the last one. You go. Um, the, there's a small little part. It's a three chord part that comes right before the uh, chorus, and the chorus is da da. All right. So what you go is. Uh, That's A. It's kind of like playing an A chord, but you put your uh, A open A string, and then you hit your D string on the second fret, and then you hit your uh, what do you call it? your uh, ring finger on the third fret B string. So it's pretty simple. You go open A. So you're gonna just strum that. And just hit your your basic your uh, G G note. Ring it out. And then D. Pretty simple. So it's. That's it.